James De Santa. Some kid. He is already late on his payments, and I have this bad feeling that he will do more damage to the car than we can get back from him in the exorbitant interest rate payments. Huh? Just go and get it. That's a 9 millimeter semi-automatic pushed against your skull. What do you want? Man, I'll come by for that drink you offered, that's all. I wasn't really serious about that. What? Drive where? Pick up this heat, nigga. Why? Business, nigga. Go watch porn. Just go away. Shit. Fuck you! They're shooting porno here. No! Hey, shit. ain't cool, Daddy. man. Hey, what are you doing? Hey! hey. Fuck the brick in my bed. You know who I am? Do you know who I am? Do you? I'm gonna have to give an old friend a call. Lester. Who need my help? Or rather, I, I mean, I need something done. You need to know something, so why not help each other? This other guy runs out of the shop, pushes me over, and says something like, Get a thousand things every day. How about you make sure that this is one of them? shown a lot of your colleagues a whole lot of respect. And why don't you start with me, genius? Well, we've decided to move out for a while. You promised me you'd change, and you haven't changed a bit. That's Trevor, my best friend. That's Franklin, the son I always wanted. Some of the government, some of it is pretty corrupt. Not, uh, not your bit, right? Yes, but we're corrupt in a good way. Devin Weston. Yeah, I remember you. The weekend interrogator. Oh, how about I hook you up with Solomon Richards? Bullshit. Solomon Richards, the movie producer? Devin Weston said you were a fan. Huge fan. We hear you're a competent repo guy, yes? You and me? We got a new home. Here? Mm, here. Hey, you, you two. You two, I want you to give this boy a good time <laughs> for a long time. <laughs> Up in North Yankton, exactly who was buried in your place? Brad! Fuck! 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 Joe Phillips! Mr. Joe has requested a word! Hey, ho, ho, I'm not the guy you're looking for! Hey, how's it How's it Get the boyfriend! Somebody pinched him, man. Who? My friend Ron met these Chinese assholes. They're from Yangshan in China. Come on, pick yourself up. We're getting out of here. So you gonna come home with me or what? I guess we'll give it a try. What the hell are you doing here? It's over, Michael. You're done good, kid. You kept this bullshit up long enough to help me trigger a fantastic insurance payout when the plug is pulled. I'm still looking into that union depository gig. It's real interesting. But I don't know if we can do it without you-know-who. Agent Sanchez, apprehend the suspect! Agent Sanchez, you'll do no such thing. Put the weapons down. Put the guns down, gentlemen. Who the fuck are they? Fucking Merriweather. What are they doing here? Steve, put your gun down. No, oh, same goddamn leg! Go! Fuck! Bullshit. Fuck! gonna kill you, old friend! It's gonna be me! Oh! You're here to finish the job, T? No, 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 I'm just here for the opportunity! Listen, Trevor, listen, I've been meaning... Oh, uh, you know, I've been meaning... I've been meaning to tell you, you know, I've been... What, homie, what have you been meaning to tell me, huh? That you stabbed me in the back, or that you were, and always will be, a worthless wretch who deserves to be put under. Yeah, well, what the, the fuck, fuck did you come back for? Oh, you know why. 
Ah, oh, no, no, no. One last score. Mm-hmm. Embrace it. Whatever you say, Doc. Shit, come on, shit, dick. <laughs> Where the hell is she? Seems to be stuck at home. <laughs> you twisted fuck! You're a dead man! Okay, you just stay here. Keep your heads down. Be safe, baby. Don't you worry about me. Got you, dick. Oh, uh, be all right. <laughs> no, it's not. What was that? <laughs> yeah, you like that, don't you, huh? Take it off. <laughs> Get the fuck off me. I, I thought I was on that guy. So you sit on his face? It's called teabagging? I really fucked him up good, though, huh? All right, listen, I'm gonna make a call. It's all gonna be okay. Stay put. They came to my house, Lester. My house! Does this change where you stand on the Union Depository? Hell no. We move on that right away. Before it gets any hotter. Yeah, that's smart. Uh, meet me at the strip joint. I'll get word to Frank and Trevor. Don't touch the titties! The ladies are being real nice to me, Trim! I asked for your number, but they took my phone. So, uh, this is it. Urgh. Hope you and Michael will be able to, uh, let each other move on in peace. I just hope he keeps his fucking mouth shut, you know? I mean, when the heat comes, and we both know we pull this off, it's gonna come. Yes, it will come, and I think that he will. And Franklin? And Franklin what? You gonna keep your mouth shut? Why? Because I've squealed like a bitch so far? Hey, you ain't seen nothing yet! <laughs> you know, bit of heat. A few years back there in the Midwest, and your boy Michael, he changed his name! Well, the way he tell it, it wasn't that clear. Hey, sorry I'm late. Oh, we were just talking about you. Well, don't worry. Another few hours, you never have to talk about me again, Trevor. You're the one who likes to talk. Watch your back. You too. That's all I'm saying. Fuck you. Fuck you, all right, excuse all right, all me! Right, enough! Huh? Enough! Thank you. <clears throat> okay, uh, this is it. <laughs> Well, we have two options. They're both a little, uh, out there. But then again, what do you expect? Okay, option one. We hijack their armored cars. We take the crews hostage. And then we infiltrate the depository. Now, once you're in there and you've got the score, we send in a team of modded cars. You load up, you get out. And we'll need to infiltrate the transportation grid and manipulate it to aid our escape. But option two, we cause a distraction out front. Make them think we're... Dumb. <laughs> well, we've never had a problem convincing people of that, have we? <laughs> the other guys will be drilling, taking what they can. You're gonna be the distraction. 
Always the attention seeker. You know, for a guy who's always stepping on his friends to get ahead, he has an unfortunately low sense of self-worth. Okay, okay, let me show you the board. To uh, recap, these are our options. We try to make them give us the gold, or we drill a big old hole in the side of the bank and we take it out. If you're drilling a big old hole, you'll need a big old drill, a tunnel bore machine. I'll locate it, but you have to steal it and store it near the bank. Uh, they're excavating a new part of the metro network around there, so that's where you'll go in. Uh, we'll need choppers for the getaway, too. Uh, Trevor has one we can use. The other can be bought. The guys on the ground will need a getaway car, so get something fast and tough, and then modify it as much as you can to increase your chances of getting away from the cops. And it's got to be stored in a parking garage near the UD. Uh, there's going to be a lot of heat, so think about that. Um, or I'm forgetting something. Uh, oh, that's it. <laughs> we'll need a train to land the gold on and take it to the warehouse. You'll have to steal it. Uh, again... I'll send you the details. Now, if you're interested in the more, um, subtle approach, hijacking the armored cars and so on, huh? you've got to get some police stingers. Only cops are licensed to have them, so that's a headache of its own. Uh, what else? Um, oh, right, uh, you'll need to get a hold of and mod some getaway cars. Uh, normal suspension's gonna give out under a couple of tons of gold. Whoa, man, a couple of tons? Four tons in total. <laughs> and that's what I can get the system to divert into the cage we're hitting. Fuck me! Okay, okay, last thing. You remember that underpass we saw from the helicopter? Well, that's where I'll set up the uh, smoke and mirrors to get the cops off your scent. I've heard that before. Michael, subtle or obvious, what's it going to be? <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Um, all right. Uh, we're going through the wall, so we'll just need a skeleton crew. <laughs> okay, um, two gunmen and two drivers. The first driver will pilot one of the choppers getting you out of there. Half the gold will be in that chopper, so these better be some safe effing hands. And the second driver's in charge of the train. I don't think we need to hire someone very expensive for this. There wasn't much money in that bureau thing, you know? We gotta give him a shot. Ah, okay. This one's new blood. I've seen him drive, but I haven't seen him under pressure. Gunman 1 is with Franklin, burrowing in and pulling out the gold. Gunman 2 hits the bank lobby with you and makes it look like you're a couple of idiots trying your luck. Hey, you gotta give the guy some cred for coming out of the bureau with his... Uh, abilities. Yeah, I reckon he learned something. <laughs> Not enough to charge more. We'll only get one shot at this thing. Is this the shot we want to take? Great. All right. We get the tunnel bore machine, and we're good to go. Fucking glory seeker. Oh, you got any better ideas? Obviously not, otherwise you would already killed me and done the gig yourself. I mean, what kind of vain asshole decides that the best way to rob the largest holding bank on the West Coast is for him, and him personally, to come at the front door. The kind of vain asshole who's stuck working with you, you douche. Okay, all right, all right, ladies. We gotta move. Come on. Man, can we fucking do this? I'll show you what you need. Siding split. Well, good for you. I still ain't at this alley. Uh, here, put this on. You know, I'm gonna scan this place for cameras when you're gone, Peeper. Hey, when this thing is done, the girls are gonna be videoing me. <laughs> mm, nah, ain't gonna happen. What ain't gonna happen? Four hundred million dollars isn't making this guy a player, and it ain't making you a good person. Now put on your clothes. Hey, so we ready for to get this shit cracking, right? Yes, oh, yeah. yes, if you actually get dressed, then maybe you will. Ready for action, huh? Let's go! All right, I'm gonna meet my guy at the bank. Gold ain't ours yet, but we are this close! Get the crew. Let's go, let's go! <coughs> you ready to do something profoundly stupid? I work for Trevor. I'm used to it. Let's do this! I've got 
ignore the wind. Hey, I got this one. Get next one. On the floor! On the floor! Oh, shit! Over there, dog! Look out! Hey, look, man, I'm gonna get the car up out of here, all right? All right. Hey, you two, come with me. I'm gonna need some help getting the metal in storage for a few days before I can sell it. Both of us? Yes, both of you. All right, it's been a pleasure working with you. You'll get paid when we get the cash. But until then, I want you to keep it on the down low. No new cars, no vacation. No nothing! Now, come on, sugar! <laughs> oh, fuck me. Oh, you want him to give you the medal? Okay, well, it's gonna take a big crew. Uh, two gunmen, two drivers, and a hacker. First gunman comes into the bank with you. It helps you move the gold into the reinforced hot rods. Second gunman is there to take down the armored cars and bring the hostages to a safe house. Yeah, think about my buddy's chef, okay? Consummate professional. McReary? He was part of a well-known Liberty City stick-up crew. Small world. I got a good feeling about him. And driver number one takes the wheel in the fourth getaway car, is gonna be at the bank with you and help loading. They're a key part of this. Driver number two helps you hijack the armored cars and will be in charge of replacing the tires your stingers ripped out. This girl, Taliana, she's supposed to be good, and she'll work for way less than she's worth, if you believe that. I'm not gonna pass her up. Ah, okay. This one's new blood. I've seen him drive, but I haven't seen him under pressure. Now, the hacker, uh, they're going to break into the traffic system, buy you some time coming out of the bank, if you need it, but we might be cool. This guy, Ricky. I met him at the Life Invader office. He may not be that good, but he's enthusiastic. We've been waiting our whole lives for this one. Are you sure you got this right? Okay. We need those stingers and the modified getaway cars. Ah, our network hacker. Uh, don't be fooled by the CRT and the fax machine. The hardware here is state-of-the-art. Cute! Hey, where's the rest of the crew? Outside. Hey, good luck, homies. I'll see y'all at Mission Row, all right? Oh, we'll see you there with approximately eight tons of gold. Four tons, not eight. All right, people, let's go. Get in the car, baby. We are about to make history. All right, here we go. This is it. All right, all right. I see the vans. Rock and roll. Rock and roll. Seriously? Let's go. <laughs> hey, oh, you please, get these please, ready. Please. Let's go, let's go. Yeah, we got a one minute window before the GPS starts reading abnormal. Ooh, then let the slaughter come in. No, no, Who you no. like? This one. No, oh shit. Hey, please, whatever you yeah, need. Yeah, no shit. We need you. No, no. What's your name? Casey. Casey! Get in the fucking truck. Let's go! Go, go, go! Get in! Let's go! go. Come on! Go! Move. Your welfare! Onion 86 in sight. Stand by. Hey, I was expecting you like half a minute ago. <laughs> Here you go. Gets me every time. Onion 86 in the building. Big plant 22 in sight. here. 
Don't do anything stupid. Let's go, pal. Authorization? Good. Good? Good. Access is good. Courtesy, escort is go. Take us to it. Follow me. Hey, so you know what to do? Uh-huh. Come on. Okay. Gentlemen? Oh, a job to do. Absolutely. Woo! There is a lot of gold in here. We're just holding on to it for the Chinese. No, we ever want to keep it in the United States. <laughs> sure, take what you can carry. <laughs> hey, come on, come on, come on. We got a schedule. Get yeah. Yeah. Oh. Got many jobs after this? No, this last one. He's retiring. <laughs> Exploring other opportunities. Hey, you know, your chance of an early death increases dramatically when you retire. Yeah. I'll bear that in mind. Hmm. Cargo's in the loading bay. Get her on board! All right, come on, let's not take up any more of this gentleman's time than we have to. That's it! Let's go! Hey, I'm not feeling so well, and I hey, thought maybe I could on, just, Casey, you know... Hey, come on, Casey, suck it up! Can't handle the hangover case. Do not overindulge. Fuck. I hope you got a solution for this problem. Yeah, dog, we own it. Okay, okay, okay. The link's active. Now you can control the traffic lights. Let's go. Good luck. Hey, we got it. Man, this shit seem easy enough. Okay, we in. Now, this is a right, okay? This one looks good. Hustle up! You guys, redistribute the weight. Here they are. Hey, good work, F. Ah. Damn, I can't believe we got the mail. Damn right, all without firing a bullet. Ah, oh, don't forget our do. case here, uh. huh? The lead ain't no, gonna no, be please, wasted. No, no, please don't. Now wait. Biggest score of our lives, we ain't taking any chances. Sorry, Pally. Gee. Well, no, it ain't no, a chance. No, please, please. He's in on it. Huh? Get up. Hey, get up. You tell him something that ain't on the news already. This whole thing was your idea. Yeah, yeah, I, I understand. Not a word. Exactly. Yeah, I, I was jumped. I, I, I never saw a thing. Go! You're fucking going as soft as that old flaccid boy in your pants. This divorce couldn't come soon enough. Fucking it! Yeah! Hey, oh, man! Fuck! Work first, bicker later, man, all right? Oh, shit! Mary with me! Mercenary motherfuckers! Right. You, keep loading! So much for the bulletless revolution! Man, we always get fucked with. You! Hold the perimeter. Everyone else, in your cars. We leave while we can. Hey, what's stopping me from riding off into the sunset, huh? With my saddlebags of bulging. Huh? Lester's the only guy who can flip metal without making a noise, dipshit. You wanna try? Be my guest. All right! Lead the way. I don't see the vehicles. Okay, seal the tunnel and get a ground team in there, stat! All right, 
Those guys will take care of the metal. Lester's meeting us at my place. Gentlemen! Uh, Lester. We have just made history. Ah, uh, I don't want to ask a dumb question here, but where's the metal? I've got it on lockdown for a few days while I'm waiting for the go-ahead to melt it and move it. Where? Where? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Where is just the point? Let's say somebody gets pinched. Well, then where is the evidence? Or if anyone gets any silly ideas, then they'll just be futile. So we can take it easy, knowing that, uh gonna be a few days before Judas here shows his true colors. Really? Now? Yeah, now, sugar. Why don't you take a moment while you're sitting on that big fat pile of cash to chill the fuck out and realize what's done is done. Whatever you say. Well, this is a good time. It's his fucking fuck, 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 fuck you, you, man! Hey, 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 hey! God. For a couple of Midwest stick-up artists, you guys sure have become a pair of Whiny West Coast douchebags! What the fuck is wrong with the West Coast? Oh, nothing. I love it here. Everyone's so numbed by the sun that if you use a three-syllable word, they think you're a professor. Man, fuck you. Yeah, fuck you, you high and mighty weasel! And you don't talk down them to these fucking idiots! Hey! Leave Lester alone! Oh! Oh, you and Lester together? Oh, now that makes fucking sense! Oh, for fuck's sake, man! You all are assholes! Man, I gotta go calm down, homie. This shit was real illuminating. Franklin, sorry. Come on back, have a beer or something. Hey, Slick, it's me. <laughs> what the fuck do you want? You got my money, punk? Hey, you got some coconut water or something like that? I need some electrolytes. Damn, it's kind of warm, isn't it? <sighs> Man, you got a death wish or something. Am I supposed to kill you now? Oh, no, bro. Not me. No. Oh, yeah. But that's my boy. Yeah, but that's my boy. He has betrayed everyone he's ever known. He's got you involved with the federal government, and he's messed up several business ventures of mine. He has got to go. And you know what? I'd like to say that this isn't personal, but it is personal. But the feds, man. The feds have told me to kill Trevor. And I obviously can't kill them both. The feds. Steve Haynes, Dave Norton. I own shopping malls. I would not employ those two clowns in. And I make one phone call, their careers, they are over. So you're going to, A, listen to some 50 grand a year pension hunter, or B, a billionaire, who even the president lets finger his wife, or C, Try and be really stupid and save those two idiot mentors of yours and have everybody in the goddamn state crawling up your ass. A, B, or C. Time's ticking, pal. Beep, beep, beep. And your answer is... Man, you know what? Man, fuck you. <laughs> genius answer, pal. Total genius, but time is running. You think about it. Me, I got a triathlon coming up, and I am in deep training. Buh bye bye Man, fuck you. Hey, man. Hey, what's up? You seem kind of agitated. Man, shit ain't good right now. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, shit. Hold on. Hey, baby, what's up? Really? Tracy? College? Our Tracy? R real college? You gotta be kidding me. That's great. All right, well, hey, listen, let me talk to you a little later, all right? Yeah, I just gotta wrap up some business here. All right, bye. Ah, uh, Amanda. Says she wants me to bring you around the house sometime for dinner. One of these nights, huh? Fuck. I mean, I don't know what I did to deserve this motherfucking luck. I got my kids back, my wife, and a job that I love. I mean, I made it. We made it. You and me, bro. <laughs> what? I like you, dog, and you know this. I risked everything for your ass, dog. What is this? Look, man. Me and you know this shit ain't over, dog. We both realists. The fuck is this? You. You? You came here to fucking clip me? You? Fuck! You were like a son to me. We both used each other. That's what happened. Oh, shit. Ah, shit.
Oh, shit. Come on, you prick. I taught you everything you know. Not everything. I was here long before you, and I'll be here after your ass. Well, we'll see about that, you fuck. I'll take you every time. <laughs> every fucking time! Yeah? Fucking A right! Miss homie, people don't fucking change. You did. You, two-bit gangster, gone three-bit. Now you're gonna gap the only one who was ever decent to you. Ha! Huh. No, I trusted you. I took you in, treated you like family. Ha! Ha! My, let's just. Fuck you! Hey! You told me when the time came! <sighs> I know! I'm sorry! You hypocrite! I should have clipped you when you broke into my house! Man, I'm sorry! It's like you said, I understand! You don't understand nothing! I'm all you got! You made the wrong call! Ah! I'll bring you down with me! I'm taking you down! You're coming in the ground with me! Franklin! You greedy prick! me, homie. Look, I was just calling to see how you was doing, dog. or maybe we can hang out or something. Man, I know I've been kind of caught up in shit, man, but shit been real crazy, homie. But it's dealt with now. Fuck, man, you know how it is, homie. You just start running and shit, and all of a sudden your legs give and you just can't run no more. Anyway, man, man, just hit me, dog. We brothers, homie, all right? Peace. Hey, man. How you doing? Shit, I'm good, T. And yourself? <sighs> Peachy. I you know what this is about. You do? Of course. Michael, you're the peacemaker. Well, I ain't having it, all right? I ain't having it. And maybe when the heat dies down. But this, nah, I ain't having it. I mean, that's it, right? Huh? Wasn't it? Wasn't it? But Michael ain't the problem. T, I like you. You scare the shit out of me sometimes. You creep me the fuck out. But, but the way I see it, the way anyone normal will see it, not that any of this shit is normal, man, you gonna get us all fucking killed. You whack me? Huh? Me? I ain't been nothing but straight and true with you. I'm sorry, man. Yeah, you have been true with me. But the truth ain't what I'm interested in. You fucking shit! Man, that was 
was your best fucking friend. Fuck you. Oh. 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 You know what, tough guy? It's it's time you grow the fuck up. I mean, I admit I'm a bad piece of work, but that guy, that piece of shit, no boundaries, no sense of when to back off, no nothing. 24-7 insanity, day in, day out, all the time. Never regretted nothing, never cared for nothing. Well, fuck him. I mean, there's got to be a limit, kid. You know, a point where even assholes like us say, enough is he fucking enough. Human stew. That's my limit. I know that now. I guess that's that, Dean. It is what it is. It's certainly been an education. Surviving is winning, Franklin. Everything else is bullshit. Fairy tales spun by people afraid to look life in the eye. Whatever it takes, kid. Survive. Damn straight. Man, imagine a fucking scenario that would fuck things up the worst. Boy, my mind is just racing. But you know, I don't want to say something that's really exciting, and then you have to act all deflated and say, no, no, it's just that somebody got the same tattoo I got. So why don't you just go ahead and tell me? Some motherfucker wants me to kill Michael. Some other motherfucker wants me to kill Trevor. I feel I can't kill both of them. Man, I'm fucked, man. I don't know what the fuck to do right now. Damn. Well, I can see that. Well, who are the motherfuckers? <sighs> Steve Haynes, uh, this angry motherfucker from the FIB. Yeah. Um, Devin Weston, man, you know the, um... Oh, that angry, that, um, rich fucker from whatever hole he hibernates in. Exactly. All right, all right, I say... Kill Michael, then kill Trevor. Oh. Man, are you for real? You're fucked, you know, I, I, I don't know. You know everything, dawg. I know, okay, but I, I, I'm sorry, I guess this is it. You know, I'm doing my best, man. I don't know how you can deal with both of them. I know, man. Shit. We're fucked. Every single one of us is fucked. Unless... Okay. Steve Haynes is under a lot of heat because of the shootings at Court Center. And Devin Weston is A, known to be a major asshole, and B, known to be friendly with Don Percival, who runs Merriweather. I think, actually, Weston owns piece of Merriweather. Right, 11%. Pretty good for a pseudo-liberal owning a private army. So, they would both love to be involved in capturing the bullion that we just lifted. If I tell them both that you boys are at the foundry in Marietta Heights melting it down, then maybe, maybe both of them will pay you a visit and bam, we turn it into a, a bust. I ain't got no better ideas. All right, I'm gonna get in touch with Michael and Trevor. You go to the foundry, get yourself set up. I got you. All right. Hey, man, what the fuck am I doing risking my ass trying to save y'all ass if you just gonna kill each other? Hey, you're not saving me, you're saving him. No, oh, you're saving this fat fuck. Man, y'all gotta keep y'all fucking heads right and end this shit. If not, man, I'll put bullets in both of you motherfuckers. Hey, they here? I know them when I see them, homie. They creep. All right, good. Y'all hear that? Now, if we doing this shit, man, it's either now or never. Come on, Trevor. Fuck it! Where do you want me? All right, man. You go over there. All right, where you want me? You hold your position right there. Okay. I'm gonna go over there. Mm. Through the building. Watch 
Watch your spectrum. Gee, dog, we gotta wait. So, huh? Oh. What's up? Huh? What's next? Huh? We're just gonna wait around for someone to kill us, or are we gonna wait till this fucker gets turned oh, again, huh? Fight me. Ain't anybody getting turned again, and you know it. Hey, man, the way I see it, we only just begun to clean this shit up. We got a lot of old friends I think need to be re-educated. A lot of friends. I mean, things could get really messy. No, we just gotta silence a few noisy people. <laughs> Hell yo, let me see. There's, uh... Steve Haynes. Dave Norton. No, we need him alive. Why? So nobody fucks with us afterwards. What about that tribe, motherfucker? The one that think you two boys is dating? Shit, you know he bound to come back. Yep, there's that. Well, who's the, uh, the guy who set up the Lamar? Stretch? We want to throw him in? Shit, Trevor will throw anyone in just to satisfy his bloodlust. Whoa! Hey! It's called a fucking loose end, all right? Now, if we're gonna be men of peace and tranquility, we tie up loose ends. <sighs> Man, Stretch has been a liability. They were gonna have to take care of our old pals Devin Weston and Steve Haynes. Oh, fuck, what a mess, man. Well, let's get it cleaned up. How about you get Lester on the line? Who is this? Uh, stop calling this number. Hey, it's me, dawg. <laughs> You're alive. I thought someone might have your phone. No, nah, no, nah, but look, I got you on speakerphone. Oh, did Mike make it? Yeah, I'm here. And the other one? <clears throat> See you putting the ground wheels. Uh-huh. You, um, just calling for a chat? No, we got some work to do. Can you get us some whereabouts? Oh, I'll do my best. Who? Steve Haynes, to start. And Devin Weston's ass. And, uh, Wei Ching. W-E-I-C-H-E-N-G. Wei Chang! Wei Chang! And Franklin's pal, Stretch. Huh. Stretch? Yeah, man, look, his real name is Harold Joseph. Okay, well, I can tell you that Agent Haynes is taping a show over on Del Perro Pier. Shooting permit came up immediately. Shut that! Oh, I wanted to ice that fucker since the moment I met him! All right, all right. Ah, I got a signal from Mr. Harold Joseph's phone over at the B.J. Smith Recreation Center. No, I got him. I got him. Let's keep him clear of uh, known associates. All right, thanks, dawg. You got it. What you got for me? Tao Ching's credit card just bought a Magnum at the Beach Club in Pacific Bluffs. Okay, I'll go ask his ass about his punk-ass dad. When I find Mr. Weston, I'll send the coordinates. All right, good. Los Santos. A city of saints. A city of sinners. And nothing in between but the FIB. Cut! God, this is crap! Who writes this bullshit anyway? Okay, all right. You got this framed right? Yeah, you're looking great. Is the chin? How's the chin? Oh, sharp. All right, the audio's clean? Nice. So, well, say something. Uh, check, check, check. Yeah, it's great. Okay, fine. We're on. I'm ready. You ready? Speed. All right, let's do this, people. I'm a professional. Let's go. <clears throat> Hi, I'm Steve Haynes. Hi. Come any closer. Los Santos. A city of celluloid. A city of scumbags. The last great American melting pot. Two parts diluted fantasy. One part degenerate reality. Mix. And this is the result. Throw in a senior FIB agent, and you've got a unique look of what's really going on under the hood. This is a land of dreams. But sometimes those dreams turn into nightmares. Stop! Cut! Cut. Oh, God, that's a cliche, man. Dreams, hey, that's a cliche. What? No, I know it's really good. Just do a cutaway. No, I'll pick it up. No, I'll pick it up. I got something good. Ready? <clears throat> Rolling. Throw in a senior FIB agent, and you've got a unique look at what happens when dreams and reality collide. Hi, I'm Steve Haynes. I've tracked down killers, attacked incompetents, and taken down terror cells. And tonight, I'm in your living room. Got it. That was strong. That was good. That was really strong. Yeah, I liked it. Cool. Let's do it. Let's go home. Whoo! Where's that girl? Where's that hot little girl? I just saw her down there somewhere. What? Hold on. I don't care that she's an intern. <laughs> just get this thing going, all right? I want to get out of here. Oh my god! Guy! What's his name? 
and he shot him. ain't gonna have no more triads coming after. We ain't gonna have anyone to sell super weapons to either, but hey-ho! Hey, unless you got news from the Foundry team, I don't want to be disturbed. Wait, wait, hear me out! Ugh. No more talking! Hey, we good, T? Never better, amigo. Good. Franklin? I'll be here. <laughs> Franklin. Hey, what's up? I assume you got him? Ooh, safe and sound. Ain't that right, buddy? <laughs> hey, my bad, homie. I pick C. Ain't that a bitch. You know, Devin, the way I see it, and hey, I'm no intelligent businessman like you, but the way I see it, there's two great evils that bedevil American capitalism of the type that you practice. Number one is outsourcing. You paid a private company to do your dirty work for you, and then you underpaid that company because you thought you were big enough and bad enough that you didn't have to play by the rules. Oh, number two. Offshoring your profits. Offshoring? Oh, it's horrible. You wouldn't want to be sent offshore just to save a little money, would you, T? Oh, no, Franklin? I wouldn't. Oh, no, I would ain't you going want? nowhere. No, see, but we know your opinions on the matter, Devin. Keep your problems the fuck out of America, huh? <laughs> In this instance, when he puts it like that, it makes sense. Of course it does. Hey, Devin, goodbye, my old friend. Thanks for all the advice. Bye-bye. So now what? Now we keep a low profile and get on with our lives. As friends. Well, do I have a choice? No, not really. All right, then. As, uh, flawed, awful, totally uncomfortable, and poorly matched friends. Absolutely. Oh, that's perfect. Then we can get back to the kind of capitalism we practice. Shit, I don't know how much more better that is than Devin's con. Ooh, hypocrisy, Franklin. Civilization's greatest virtue. Jesus, your therapist has a lot to answer for. I know, I still hate myself. But hey, at least I know the words for it now. Yeah, but I hate you, and I know the words for it. So does that mean I don't have to go to therapy? Look, man, you two motherfuckers terrify me of that middle age. I'm good. You're right to be afraid, Franklin. Yeah. Be very afraid, Franklin. Tell you one thing, T. I'm getting too old for this nonsense. Oh. Oh, it's a setup, it's a setup.
So, you've done well for yourself. What? What, what are you doing here? Is that how you greet your mother, Trevor? <laughs> <laughs> 